newest ballpark on the Major League landscape. There's a look inside Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the second of four between the San Francisco Giants and the Miami Marlins. Who's going to win the battle between these two? We'll see next. And a look now at Bruce Bochy's lineup card for the Giants. What's this lineup got to do tonight to get a W on the road, Steve? Catfish Brown will stand in, and he's been a tough out these past couple of weeks, as you see the average there over the course of the last nine ball games. Cozart's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off for ball one. This Marlin ball club, Eric Karos, as they begin play here tonight, they come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. But I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their finest performance of the year, that's for sure, but they're one capable ball, of playing yeah. much better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here on this one. The one and two pitch. Chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. That misses. It's to two and two now with two away here in the top of the first. Yeah. And on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for that. Little chopper back to the mound. And the throw He's just down. does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Christian Yelich will get his first shot at it here and he's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games not much going on there at all he's set here's the three and two on the ground is short this could be two young for one on the belt and they turn to a double play time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one who do you have your eye on EK you know they're getting a lot of production out of that number two hole right now. He's currently hitting over 300 against right handers which is obviously what he gets. To Catfish Brown stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And you know some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a all ones that in the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Cozart sets. Here it is on 0-1. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. Giants are still searching for their first hit of the ball game. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Has to be thinking strikeout here. And he chased it in the dirt. Riamuto is after He's it, safe. but the throw is late, so the inning will continue after the strikeout pitch gets away. And quite a turn of events there is not only is he on on the drop third strike, but a run scores as well. Buster Posey stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. The 0 and 1 delivery. Right side. Gordon able to get there. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. 
Giants will have to be content with just the one. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Giants lead it one to nothing. Catfish Brown will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Yeah, not showing too much so far, but he's got a chance to make something happen right here. See if he can put those other ABs behind him. Looking to keep this a one-run game. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Nope. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. That's a good location for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that and hope it's a ball, or he's got to foul that thing off. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Boy. And in the first two games of this series, he's already struck out a total of four times now. You get to where you just hate taking that walk back to the dugout. I'll tell you, it's a very frustrating feeling. D. Gordon will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. To short. Brown over to his left. And the he's throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. And if this is almost any other guy in baseball, he's going to be out. But he just gets down that line. Catfish Brown will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And this is a big spot here in this ball game. You've got to be able to move that guy up 90 feet. It's a must in this situation. Well, should be 2 and 0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one and it's even 1 and 1. And in this spot you got to pitch for the strikeout here. And this is a guy that's gone down twice so far. So you do have that in your favor. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. One run, four hits. And no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Well, this is a stroll he's taken five times in this series now. That slow walk back to the dugout after getting punched out. After a while, these things, they start to wear on you. You've got to try to keep the mindset that every at-bat's a new opportunity, but most of the time, that's easier said than done. Catfish Brown struggling so far in this one. He'll look to erase his 0 for 4 ball game with a base hit right here. Oh man, it's never fun to go over, but let's see if he can find a way to climb out of it. First delivery to him on the way. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Right 0 and 1 count and the pitch to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Giants three and the Marlins nothing. And guys, we were treated to an excellent pitching performance in this one by the gentleman you see right here. Johnny Cueto. Strike a pose. He's our top player of the game. 
Yeah, definitely no no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Karros, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. First open back in 2012, a look inside the Mammoth Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the San Francisco Giants and the Miami Marlins. It's Marlins baseball, and it's next on the show. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Eric? Well, guys, everybody should be looking out for that guy in the number three spot. Catfish Brown will stand in now, just a few ticks shy of the 300 mark for the season. Well, he's been hitting really well over his last 10 games or so, and he's someone to watch out for in this one. Swing and a ball hit softly that on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. A oh, one pitch on its way. Hey, hey. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. This Marlin Ball Club, Eric Karros, as they begin play here tonight. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done him any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Yeah, and it's painfully obvious to say, but if they can't score any runs, their not woes are just going to continue. They were shut out in the. Coming to the plate now, Catfish Brown, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Oh, and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game. It can change the entire complexion of the game if you can put the other guys on their heels right away. And this one gets away. And he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball. Yeah, you can see this pitch is on the outside part of the plate. And it almost looked like a situation where he couldn't decide whether to catch it normally or maybe try to backhand this thing. And it kicks right off the end of his glove, and you can see it gets away. And there's no, ball, ball four now, Take so the, the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Mark Trumbo has a golden opportunity to give his guys the lead as he stands in with three men aboard. And Matt, it's early in this game, but this is a big moment right here. It doesn't matter when you score your runs, just that you score more in the end. Fly ball out to right field. Moving under it, Stanton makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. And at the very least, that's what he's up there hoping to do and that's hit the ball in the air somewhere so nice job to pick up that runner from third although the other two runners have to stay put now with two away stepping in Matt Duffy he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up well at the very least he went down hacking striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting and you have to and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side Giants will have to be content with just the one. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Giants two and the Marlins one. Derek Dietrich stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Hits are now even at four apiece. Grounded to short. Brown is up with it. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Now batting. Catcher. Catfish Brown steps into the box. Let's see if they avoid the zone again or try to challenge him here. Well, I'm sure he'd probably rather hit, but guess what? There's no easier way to improve that on-base percentage. And nope. there's ball four ball now, four. so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Now batting, left fielder, Mark Trumbo. Now to the plate, Mark Trumbo 
Earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. Yeah, and what do you know? He's got a good chance to get another RBI on a sack fly right here. On the ground to the right side. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. And not in time as the second run scores. And he continues to be a big part of their attack. With two more RBIs on the play. That gives him three for the ball game. And they push that lead out a little wider. Matt Duffy will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, <laughs> it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game and you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. And it looks like these past couple of innings he's been trying to be a little too fine all of a sudden. Like he's not trusting his stuff well enough. That'll spell trouble if that continues. Thomas Jones ready to take another shot went down on strikes his last time up four runs seven hits and no errors on the giant ledger to this point and that misses ball four a run will come into score well that definitely didn't go according to plan Frank comes right out of the bullpen to Catfish Brown steps into the box. Let's see if they avoid the zone again or try to challenge him here. And they'll kind of have to come right after him this time because there's no good reason for walking him right here. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and They've already walked him twice already, so I wouldn't be surprised if they worked around him again. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Oh, they have him the looking awfully confused two. up there right now. It's one and two. Here's a high pop up. Dietrich coasts under it, and that retires the side. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton will get the first shot when we return. Part of Adam fooled as this has popped up back behind short. Brown is camped under this one, and he will make the catch, so that'll do it. Miami down in order. They're down 7-1. to one. Catfish Brown will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Giants down. Derek Dietrich will stand in. He flew out his last time up. One out and a runner on second base. Hit to short. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game.
And guys, I think you might agree there's little doubt that the star of this afternoon's contest was this man, Hunter Pence. Don't put that card in your bicycles, folks. He's our top... MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Today, it's the finale of this four-game set between the San Francisco Giants and the Miami Marlins. It's Marlins baseball on the show. Next. And a look now at Bruce Bochy's lineup card for the Giants. Who's the one to watch, E.K.? Catfish Brown will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Drilled on the ground to short. And there's a base hit as the run will score from third. And the Giants break out on top here one to nothing. Wow, well, there you go. Just more of the same right here. You know, one of the hallmarks of this winning streak is that they've been able to get on the board first quite a bit. And they keep it going here as he drives in the run to make a 1-0. Buster Posey will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. First and second here with nobody out. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down out there. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Are well, you talk about being locked in at the plate right now? That is 10 straight games. Brandon Belt will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. And a swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Who are you focused on, E.K.? Thomas Jones will stand in. And you can see that surprisingly he hits better versus left-handed pitching than he does against righties. Bases are loaded with only one out. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. With a moment now, let's give you a look at the Miami D. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, we have an opportunity to watch Kristen Yelich. Russell Franklin will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. Well, his numbers have been kind of ugly for the entire season. But guess what? Over his last 10 games, he's hitting over 400. And he got him. Minimizing the damage at just a run, the inning is over. So one run on four hits, no errors, and three men left stranded. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Catfish Brown will come up now to kick off their half of the third. Leading Seems like the hits have been coming fast and furious, E.K., but not the runs. Brown. Yeah, you figure if you get five hits in two innings, you're doing all right for yourselves. But like you said, they've only got one run to show for those five hits, so they'll need to capitalize a little better. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Well, just looked like he pulled across that slider a little too much. Might have tried to overthrow it. High in the air and deep to left center field. Yelich going back. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Catfish Brown will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. And a lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Ball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, 
Launched to right field and deep. Calgio ranging back. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. Not in time. He's and he's in there with a double. And after going hitless in last night's ball game, he's turned things around here. That's his second hit of the ball game, and he's in at second base with a well-hit double. Buster Posey will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. High pop up. Friedrich is there for it. And that's the third out. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon. Evan Gaddis stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Kane sets. 1-2 on its way. Hit on the ground to short. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Marlins leave one. They trail this one. One. Catfish Brown will dig in. He doubled his last time. Boy, he had a great at-bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. Buchanan comes set. First pitch on the way. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. No balls. In strikes. the dirt here. But fortunately here, no advance. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. The 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, you know, Eric and I like to talk a lot about pitchers keeping hitters off balance at the plate. And this is an excellent illustration of what we're talking about. Now, we didn't like to be off balance at the plate, but this is what you get. He goes fast, then slow, fast, then slow. They never give him the same pitch or the same speed twice in a row. And that's how you keep a guy's timing. Martin Prado will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? The second for one. On to first. So he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. And you know what? You just can't ask for much more than this coming out of the bullpen. That's exactly why they turn to him. They get the good matchup, and he comes in and delivers a double play ball to take away some of the pressure. Catfish Brown ready to try again. Struck out swinging in his last trip to the play. Well, it was a good changeup that got him last time, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them try to work that off-speed stuff right back into their game plan here. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Ready with the one-one pitch. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. To two and two now. The two-two pitch. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. He's and he up. makes the throw to first. Brown is retired. Two down now. Justin Bohr will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. 
So coming to the plate, Martin Prado. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. And that's exactly what I'd expect them to do. No reason to give him a pitch that he likes. Franklin is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Well, that's a disappointing at-bat right there with one out. He got it airborne all right, but he winds up hitting it straight up in the air, and as a result, he can't pick up that runner from third base. And guys, we were treated to an excellent pitching performance in this one by the gentleman you see right here, Matt Cain. What a performance he turned in. He's our top's player of the game. Yeah, not the longest outing he'll ever have. He only made it six full innings, but he definitely brought his good stuff to the ballpark, and he winds up helping his guys get out of here with a victory. So that'll do it.